Hey there, my name is Promise. Welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues playing as now the Helios Brotherhood. I am the true Brotherhood at this point. I mean, the Western Brotherhood of Steel doesn't even exist. I guess the Washington one exists, and so does the Alamo chapter, but like, come on. Some of these guys ain't long for this world. No, we're doing fine. We are playing really well right now. I've built out my economic base quite a bit. We just snagged a nice chunk of territory. Now we're going to go deal with Eagle Rock. I do think we need to start going ahead and justifying a war goal against, let's say... Uh, Eastport, since they do have a good trade node, and probably a handful of factories for me to deal with, especially around Mountain City. So that seems fine. I really doubt the Crazy Horns have a lot to offer, but I don't know, we might come back to them later. Same with Ouroboros, by the way. The Goddess of the Dark Moon. I'm trying to remember, we played up here before, didn't we? This is like a weird thing where we were, like, we were able to choose between like two goddesses, one being kind of like a Gaia figure and the other being apparently this goddess of the Dark Moon. I think we did something up over here, but I don't remember for sure. Either way, we could also just go ahead and kill all of them. The Daughters of Hecate? Oh, Realm of Diana! Yeah, 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 that's, that's the other stuff we had seen up over there. I don't remember who we played in this region, but we did something around this. Anyway, so they're fighting Eagle Rock. I'm trying to get my uh, troops up here rapidly so that Victoria can crush these guys and finish them all off. The Alamo chapter is dead. RIP. I mean, we all knew that was going to happen, but at the same time, I still say it. RIP. Very sad. Very sad to see. Uh, let's go ahead and send a handful of my troops up this way to make sure that we are holding this line. I did apparently lose three power armor units, by the way. Very angry about that, but that's one of the risks of para-dropping. Oh, there go these guys. Okay, um, honestly, this isn't worth it. I'm just done. I'm not gonna take it. Go ahead, take all of it. Take it all. I don't care. What can I do? I don't care. These guys were these guys were silly anyway. Um, that's the danger of doing para drops. You land and then you have basically no morale. And if the enemy reacts quickly and instantly attacks it, sometimes they can quickly knock your units out, even if they were the superior units to begin with. It's very dangerous to do that with my power armor, but oh well. Plating add-ons for my vehicles, cool. We could start working on gun trucks, but I don't care about that. We're just gonna go ahead and keep upgrading them. I am planning on building out a lot more of these guys because while I could build a lot of infantry, if we can use power armor to break through, then to exploit that breakthrough, what we want is fast moving units. And I think they're very, very strong in old world blues. So I think that's gonna end up being worth it. I'm gonna spend some bottle caps and reduce my income in order to just go ahead and have basically even more factory production. I mean, why not? So we should be looking at a whopping 91% factory output right now, which is just outstanding. There's the salvage car. We should go ahead and stop doing these whole motorcycle things. Um, you guys are not actually building what I was hoping for. That's because we're still finishing out some of the radar. Right, okay, fair enough. We got a ways to go before we're going to have a lot more of these factories, but okay. Eventually we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and start working on a wasteland car. I know I'm just kind of resetting my efficiency again and again, but... Whatever, it's not like I'm losing anything right now. There's a boost to our trade node. More sand! I hate sand! Hate it! Helios Brotherhood scouts have turned up nothing in the deserts. Okay, so this was the whole, like, scavenging event. So we got nothing out of it, basically. Okay, um, well, let's train against some more Legion tactics. Just keep doing that. So the Brotherhood Legion preparation is gonna be... Wait. Attack bonus... I thought that we were moving their ability to attack me. Do I now have... Am I now getting to a point where I'm gonna have a national focus that gives me a boost against them? No. See, we're getting rid of this, but it's gonna go change by 15%. Does this mean that this is about to swing to me getting an extra 10% attack and defense against the Kaisar? Because if so, that's amazing. Any of those kinds of boosts are just outstandingly good. Um... How, really? My hologram vera has got a virus. I find that a little funny, but okay. Recovery rate? Supply consumption? Division speed. I think recovery rate is universally going to be useful, but the speed is tempting. Supply consumption is tempting. They're all tempting. I feel very tempted right now. The great race. I don't care about your great race. Go have fun. Seriously, go. Go have fun with it. I don't care. We're going to go ahead and move this up to 20 combat with, because I feel like we might as well. I don't suppose I could increase the number of power armor here. Could we? Maybe. If I went for like some PA fire teams and stuff. Get this up to 20 combat with. That's a lot of soft attack. Here's the only thing I don't know. 
Yeah, this would put me over the special forces limit. Okay, that's the thing that I'm worried about. We need to find a way to get that special forces limit back up. There's the house of schematics. We got some sort of industry thing. Let's go ahead and work with Benny. I'm just trying to get the yes man thing for some whatever what that was. Uh, it is planning speed plus 25%. Seems pretty solid to me. Um, let's take a quick look-see here. Is there anything under infantry that would allow me to increase my special forces capacity? I don't think so. That's hardness. No. The only way that I know to increase that would be to actually go away from senior knights and back to paladins. Which would cost me a lot of manpower, but... It would cost me a lot of manpower. But another 20 forces minimum capacity, I don't know. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Let's go ahead and move all these power armor units up over here, by the way. We want to be able to knock these guys out pretty quick. We should be able to attack them in about a month. Which is not very long when you think about it. I'm going to go ahead and direct all of you guys now over this way. So we can knock out Eastport quick. I'm going to snag that... Um I'm going to snag that uh, trade node as fast as we can. Um, let's go ahead and start working on an upgrade to things like maintenance companies and stuff. And maintenance companies are good in other ways, by the way. It's not just the fact that we are reducing the um, the damage, right? And the, the attrition that things like power armor are going to get. But you also get an increased uh, equipment capture ratio. Which is not bad. I mean, sometimes you can capture a lot of equipment. It's especially good if you're playing as a small nation in the base game, in my opinion. But it has its uses. It really does. Alrighty, so, hang on. Let's go ahead and quickly set up a front line here. But what I really want to do is set up a whole bunch of paratrooping orders. We'll send some over there. Then some here. I have to be a little bit cautious about how I do this. We want to land at Mountain City. What do you need? If I land here, I can quickly run into these other two. Wendover is a little bit behind front lines, but maybe we can do this? I'm wary of losing a bunch more power armor like before, you know? Hello, Let's see. Let's take one, two, three, four, assign them to grab the capital. What's going on? Let's take one, two, three, assign you here. What can I do for you? What's going take on? all of you, assign you here. And then we'll take one, two, assign here. So tired. And a couple more assign there. Yes, sir. Like this. And I think by now we should have a few more vertebrates, so we can increase how many are going to be deploying at any given time. And let's increase these up to 50 for the air wings. Let's increase you another 50 as well. I don't know if we have enough planes for this, but we should have close to it at this point. We've been producing plenty of planes. For the old world being what it is, we've been producing plenty of planes. You guys, by the way, we could go ahead and set to air supply, but if we do that, I don't think we can do paradrop. So after we're done with the paradropping, then I think we switch these guys over to air supply to try and make sure that they can survive. Crimson Acolytes, cool. I'm gonna assign you guys to a new army. Agent killed. Gosh dang it. Can you do anything that gives me something with vehicles, specifically? Reconnaissance, Spec Ops, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, Life Giver, Invasion, Army Size, Attrition, oh, Leader Experience Gain, Fire Teams, no, 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 I don't think there's anything here for vehicles. There is not, okay. Um... I guess we'll go for local leader on you just so you can have more units, but you're not very important to me. Hello, sir. You go ahead and get assigned to Vera. And we could work on cargo planes, but I don't really see the point. Does any of this stuff affect my other aircraft? That's airships. I don't care about them. Uh, can't do anything over here. Don't care about any of you. No. I don't think there's anything else to do on that front, so that's over. There are no doctrines for the air, by the way, that I know of. Kind of miss having that option. That was a good uh, resource sink, but oh well. I hate to say it, but I, I think we're almost done with research. There's really not much more to work on. Could start working on robots, I suppose. Let's go for some breakthrough, uh, breakthrough and uh, speed. And then I think we go ahead and launch this. Attack. Oh, we never actually set up a quick front line. Let's do that. Go. 
And then we should go ahead and start fabricating another claim. Do we want to do it against Ouroboros? Vault City? You got a lot of units. Holy crap. Robots. Robots galore. Huh. Vault City has a lot of factories to steal, though. But with that many robots, I think that's a bit more pain that I'm willing to accept. Can we have any intel on this? They got a lot of robots. Hmm. What about Ouroboros? You have some factories and basically no troops at all. You'd be pretty free pickings. We'll take you for now. 25 days is like nothing. Yeah, let's go ahead and start working on that. Let's see how fast we can take out Eastport now. We should be landing over here pretty aggressively. Uh, let's see, some of you get down over here, one of you get up over here, then come and assist at Mountain City. Land, some of you head up here toward Mountain City. The other ones head over here toward New Hammond. Should be landing over here in a moment, or not. We managed to get Wendover. You guys start pushing down this direction, snag that. One of you turn around and get over here to Stag. If we can take Mountain City, which we should be able to, I think that's going to be the end of it. We've basically got all the victory points, almost. Some of you guys turn down this way, help out. He's trying to attack me, but he won't be getting very far. Grabbed all that, good. You guys get into New Hammond, if you please. Done. Power trooping, man. It's good. Done. Thank you. All mine. That was easy. Oh, I just realized these guys... Yeah, these guys are under... Never mind, we're fine. Thought for a second those guys weren't actually assigned to our field marshal, but they are. Alright, Ouroboros, you appear to be the next target. Let's go ahead and assign some of you here. Hey there. Some of you here. And some of you here. Okay. Research there is done. Um, power armor time. It's a little ahead of time, but whatever. Let's go ahead and start getting some serious stat upgrades for the bulk of my army. What else should we research? We can apparently get a pre-war design. Ooh, I found... Right, of course, Robco. Yeah, if I was doing anything with robots, that would be really good. I'm not, though, so I don't care about it that much. Um, we could start working on the cars. I'm gonna do this. Cell usage goes up, but we have so much more speed all of a sudden on these cars. That's pretty good. I like, by the way, that in the future, even in this uh, post-nuclear war uh, world, we still have, like, electric cars across the board. All right, planning speed... It's not really that important, but I mean, on the off chance that I want it, I, I, I could get five more civilian factories. I'm well aware that I could do that, but like me, me, let's not worry about it too much. Let's go ahead and start working on some more power armor. We got 5,000 power armor, my God. Hey, we can get ourselves a new spy to make up for the one that died. Um, I don't care about capture cipher effectiveness. I guess, I guess I'll take you, but you don't matter that much either, if I'm honest. Uh, get back to being over here. We're at 84% spy network. Can we do anything exciting over here? The Securitron Heist. What is this? Agents infiltrate across a neutral border. Securitrons are looking to, no, we're looking to steal are in several things. We could get 200 Securitrons. I don't know about that. Maybe we want... I want Coordinated Strike. That would be powerful, because that gives me a huge combat boost. But, for now, I am okay with infiltrating the army, so we get a little bit of extra experience and just kind of find out what else is going on over there. Better intel and whatever else is fine. Alright, so we're already ready to deal with these guys. I don't even need to do airdrops on this, because I don't think they have much. So I'm going to set my army, all of them, frankly, to being aggressive. Have some of these guys get down here. What can I do for you? And then we're gonna go ahead and declare the war. I don't have any allies I need to call in. Go, 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 go. And then who else should I justify against? Should we just go ahead and justify against Vault City? Yeah. 15 days? Alright, we hold off on that. Kaiser, you're not fighting the NCR yet, are you? No. Just making sure. I was wondering if, like, World War II had just officially started, and that's why, like, a lot of the, uh, justify times are down, but no. 
Another economic resurgence. That node is up and running. That means my cap's income is about to skyrocket. Tires have been improved for some extra speedy speeds. Tank platoon reliability means nothing to me. We could start working on some gun trucks, I guess. I'm gonna start researching the ground pounder. An even better version of ground support. That's gotta be good, right? By the way, planes, you guys are assigned to follow this person. And you go ahead and do some air supply. There, just follow along, get me some ground support. Doesn't matter that much, we should absolutely crush it. You guys get up over here. Except for half of you who go up over here. Because my front lines are all messed up, again! Let's go for some supply use, but also even more speed, and we will upgrade the cars, and boom. Gonna take me a while, we're producing a couple of these per day, and we're gonna start having some much better statted cars, that's gonna be good. So we're clearing all of this out, no problem whatsoever. Um, some of you guys start heading over here toward Ouroboros, if you please. I'd like to snag their capital, if possible. And then some of you guys just go over this way, I guess. Wartime administration. Nah, spend the political power, keep them under control. I don't need their autonomy to go up. Not that I really care about, like, annexing them anytime soon. It's just, like, at a matter of principle. Like, why give them any autonomy? When I conquer a people, I like them to stay good and subjugated for a long time. Hey, you got yourself another trait. Um, I still don't really know what I want here, to be honest. These guys don't seem that great. I guess we could go for Gun Nut. Or the Equipment Capture, but I'm, I'm thinking maybe Gun Nut. We'll have extra attack and support coming out of you. That'll be fine. Can we change a tactic for you? Didn't even check that, but like, I wonder. Um, details, tactics, fire and movement, defensive hard points. Mm, I was curious if you were gonna have a good Blitz Krieg like tactic, but it looks like the answer is no. Engaging. So you guys need to go here, you guys all go here, you guys go here, you also go here, and we're about to snag Ouroboros proper, and that should about end the war. There it is. Take all states? I can't. Hello. Alright, forget a couple of these. Some of these are more expensive than I expected. Okay, we'll take this for now. I want Ouroboros proper. Someone to the north is taking territory, that's what's going on. But I can take the rest of it. Done, mine. Thank you. Well, that was easy. Um, so the reason I wasn't justifying on these guys over here is because I wasn't confident how quickly I was going to win that war, but it uh, turns out it was very quickly. Um, oh, right, I need more political power to even be able to do this, though. Let's go ahead and move these guys in position. As we often do. And we're going to have a good test to find out how strong my armies have become. If they are sufficiently strong and I can pound through these robots with no problem, it means I probably can pound through the Kaisar with no problem. I'm out of manpower because I've conquered too much stuff. Well, getting some more dog supports for extra suppression will help with that a little bit. Really what I need is to stop with all these dang occupied territories. Steward of Vegas. How exciting. I'm gonna change everything to rogue patrols for now. It's costing me too much. Change everybody. Except for those of you who are at max compliance, I bring you down to just caravan guards. So it doesn't cost me pretty much anything. Not that I'm using very many garrisons on these, but you can see I'm reducing it by at least a couple every time I do this. So that does save me a smidge of manpower for doing this. Not bad. Okay? Good. So that gets me 3,000 more manpower just for doing that. Um, I'm okay with this for the moment. What else should we research? We should research... I don't need to scavenge. More army experience, I guess, is fine. Or maybe just some more power armor is fine. Power armor to make up for the ones that we lost. I like that. Factories available. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and start getting some upgrades for our heavy machine guns. We got a lot of factories all of a sudden, didn't we? Holy crud. Let's get some upgrades to our grenade rifles. Let's get some more of these mutts. Let's get some more fighters. And that's all I've got at the moment. I still don't care about scrapper bots, and I still don't care about any of the planes. That, however, is a pretty significant change right there. So this will take me a little while to produce new stuff, but... 
Our current outdated stuff had a soft attack of two, defense of two, breakthrough of six, right? This is gonna have breakthrough of nine, defense of four, soft... This is almost twice as good as the Wasteland Power Armor. It's got better reliability, it's got better armor, it's got, I think, better speed, too. This has a higher production cost, but otherwise is better in every possible way. So I need 3,600 of it in order to fully upgrade it, but I just made my units so much better. That's outstanding. We can also go for things like land night attack bonus. Um, I can apparently do this. I'm going to go ahead of time on that. Sure, I'm apparently sophisticated in that much. There's the ground pounder. Mm. I still don't need any of this. What else could we research? Um, we can get ahead of time on this with the walking infantry and the motorized soft attack. I'm just going to go ahead and start getting ahead of time on stuff. I really don't care. More power armor added in the stockpile. Why not? Never hurts to have more. Wow, that was fast. All right, let's reward veterans. And let's really double down on factories for our scavenge power armor just so I can get upgrades really quick. Time to go for a quick little justification there. Now, if I wanted to, we could try to go for some para drops, but to be honest, I feel like they have enough robots that I'd be in danger of getting surrounded and killed. I'd rather go for a more conventional war here instead. Hello, sir. So that's what we're going to do. I'm also not going to be setting these units all too aggressive. Let's just be a bit more careful this time around. I mean, we should be able to punch through these robots. I did take off a lot of my anti-tank weaponry, so that's a slight issue, but it's all right. Lose some more political power is fine, blah, blah, blah. Should be able to go to war with you in just a moment. These guys are also at war against the Pale Folk, so I mean... They got other things on their mind, so we're not going to be fighting their full strength, which is pretty nice. Um... Sails, 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 and sails. Wow. Let's get the ability to do naval invasions down a river just in case I need it. Let's declare our war. And let's see how well these guys do without any interference on my part. I'm seeing a lot of green so far. That's good. Some red now. But it looks like they're able to push pretty well. There goes the tariff relief. Uh, let's go ahead and train more against the Legion. Let us... Invest in another one of these care packages to get some free compliance so we stop using up as much of my garrison. And it sure as heck looks to me like we are going to be obliterating these robots. Can I please push down this way and then cycle up to Battle Mountain? Because if we can do that and encircle all these units, it gets really easy. Ciphers of the West. Our expedition finally made it and have contacted us. There they were able to find the ciphers in actuality. Uh, I don't know if this is a unique event for us or not, but we get research bonuses in a bunch of things. Well, uh, under other circumstances, I would say that's pretty exciting. But for now, I don't think it matters all that much. We have some encirclements, so we're crushing a bunch of robots. We are pushing up to Battle Mountain, so we should be crushing this in just a moment. We're having some supply issues, but not too bad. They're having way more. And we have a bunch more of our motorized trained up and ready to go. I can train, I think, eight more there, and that would be fine. And then I'll go ahead and train up a bunch more infantry... Never mind, that's about all we can handle as far as manpower is concerned. I think from here on out, my political power really needs to go just to things like coring. More cores would be good. Um, none of this needs to get upgraded. We could work on some anti-air. Don't think I need to worry about that right now. Oh, lordy. Um, let's go ahead and start working on just some extra resource gain. Why not? Crimson Acolytes declare their own wars. That's fun. These guys are going to die really fast. So let's go ahead and crush them. Look at my big honking cars. Yeah. These guys are going to be good. And that's going to be a lot of dead robots. Say goodbye to the robots. Let's get up to Vault City. Let's have a couple more of these orders over here just so we can keep them all going. Just because, I mean, if I don't have to micromanage, that's great for me. Bam! the war we were looking for! The NCR has declared war against the Kaisar. Finally! And now, at long last, I can get down to business. We're gonna start by killing the Kaisar. And I'm gonna eat everything he's got. Then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna obliterate that NCR. Because I don't like their face. Let's start working on the gun trucks. Might as well. Um, 
Gosh, there's just no point. The Navy is so unimportant in this game. Let's go for some more fuel cells or something. I don't care. We're up to 173 factories now, by the way. Wow. Hey, you guys apparently aren't doing anything. Um, get over here, please. We need your speed. We need you to be a speedy boy. Also, why are you all over here? Oh, good lord. Who are you anyway? The Pale Folk. Oh, right. Yes. Hi. Um, I'm just gonna kill you real quick. Hang on. We've already got troops ready to kill you. Let's just go kill him real quick. <laughs> then we'll go kill the Kaisar. Uh, this does mean that I need to use my focus, by the way. So we finished with infiltrating the army, so that's now done. Of course, these guys did not go back to spying. Northern Phoenix will be fine. We'll go ahead and go over there. So the NCR is doing their thing. It looks like the NCR is going to lose some ground. I would love the NCR to lose ground because it will force the Kaisar to overextend to such a point that I should be able to obliterate him. That would be very, very good for me. But we'll see. Dockyards? I has a single dockyard? My god. Let's start making convoys. A lot of people fighting other people. Don't care. Coring. Ruby Hill? Give it to me. Thank you. I don't know. Multi-purpose equipment is done. Get Vault City now, please. Just finish them off. You've got plenty of power. Just finish them off. The fall of Vault City and ba-boom! Bye-bye. All right. So I'm going to eat all your states. Mine. Pass, pass. I'm going to eat all your states. Mine. Pass, pass. And actually, that invalidates my justification of war because they're dead. Cool! All right. Now it is time to get ready for a big honking fight. So let's reorganize some of my forces because this is going to get a little bit more complicated. And don't think for a second, NCR, that I have any love for you and that I want to help you in any meaningful way, okay? I am only here because I am a vulture who likes to devour uh, everything in sight. We are going to be sending a bunch of my motorized divisions over here, along with Vera specifically. And the goal here, of course is going to be to create the ability to punch through his northern flank once I feel like I've got him properly distracted in the west. Using the power of my motorized and some infantry to support across the river, uh, assuming everything goes well because the river crossing penalties are terrible, we'll be able to take advantage with extreme speed and push down here and knock out a big chunk of his industrial base. For the rest of you, I think we still technically only have a couple of front lines. So we go with that. I do need to assign you guys over here to rapidly crush the Great Khans. Get them out of things so I don't have to protect my flank. With enough troops on both of these fronts, I don't think the Kaisar is going to be getting across, especially when he's distracted by the NCR. So that's not going to be a concern. An assault canoe has been researched. Right. Okay, that's good. So I think we can deal with the Great Khans pretty easily. No real concerns there. I don't really need to worry about any of this. Once again, I just find myself in a position where we have... You know what? Let's go for the land knight attack. That'll be fine. We have so many research slots, we just kind of obliterated everything here. Now, let's not forget that we also are going to have a superior air force, which we can make use of. Um, apparently, they're not really following where I would have wanted them to. So we're going to send a bunch of you guys over here, and then a bunch of you guys over here. I need to expand out my air base a little bit. Just get you guys up there a little if we can. Uh, once again, my manpower is looking pretty atrocious. Don't suppose there's anyone else that we could pull back on. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that here. If we have relatively low resistance, I don't think I need to worry about them. Let's do that. That should be fine for the moment. Okay, that brings me up to another thousand manpower. I'm not really training anything else, so it doesn't matter. Uh, once you're done with this infantry, we'll stop with that. We're about to get a whole bunch more of our motorized infantry. Let's not forget that I also broke their ciphers, and they're trying to infiltrate the NCR. That's fun. Also, let's not forget that I have 20% extra attack and defense against the Kaisar. We are going to destroy these guys. I don't see how we don't win. I don't care if we have less, like, troops. With the NCR distracting them, we are going to absolutely obliterate these fools. They got no chance in heck. 20% when I have technological superiority? Dude, you can't win that. All right. 
Uh, what else are we gonna do? Rescue Legion Slave. You know what? I think getting a little bit of extra weekly manpower for a while isn't bad. I mean, it's only gonna be a few hundred manpower, but in a game where hundreds of manpower matters, there you go. There's the economic resurgence. Um, suppose I could expand out some more infrastructure in a couple of key areas just in case. I wouldn't mind having a little bit more along here just to create a better highway of stuff. I actually don't, haven't even checked. Do we have the railroads and stuff? Roads, connect supply hubs together. Costs an unbelievable amount. So it looks to me like in Old World Blues, with the No Step Back expansion, you actually are not encouraged to build roads like at all. Which I think is interesting. Oh, forget this. I'm sorry. Why are we doing this? No, 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 no. This. This is what I want. Hang on. Cancel. Yes. This. That's what I meant to do in 20 days, roughly. We are going to gain claims on the entirety of Arizona. And I don't think that just gives me claims against the Kaisar at this point. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people that we're going to have claims on in just a minute. Then I will turn around and I'm going to have claims on the entirety of California. And I'm going to obliterate everybody. Absolutely everybody. So let's end this video here. It's a good stopping point. Next video is going to be nothing but war. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.